to do with our Mini first. My name's Alex, I'm out the car, so I'm going to take a closer look at the car and then I'm going to take it out for a road test. So let's go take a closer look. It's a 2012 12 registration Mini first, 1.6 petrol. It's covered 73,000 miles from new with one lady owner from new. It's HPI clear, um, it's got service history. And as you can see, it's in this, uh, it's kind of, it's like a cream color. It's like a white, it's definitely not white. It's more of a cream, white color. You've got to see it in person, really. As you can see, it's very clean all around. It's only a few minor imperfections on the car. Probably more so on the front than the rear. And what I'll do is I'll take out for a quick drive so you can see what it's like out on the road. The interior is really clean as well. And we'll take a quick look under the engine if I can find where the. Uh... Oh, yeah, first time. The engine's nice and clean. Take it out. So we're in the car now. We're just going to go on a, sh a short run around the village. As you can tell, it's really quiet um, on idle. Good soundproofing, presumably because uh, the Mini was designed, built by. BMW pretty much so you are going to benefit from BMW like build quality just got to navigate around these horses see that of course we'll be adhering to the speed limits as we head out through Minstead. It's a really smooth ride so you know whilst people may think that it could be quite harsh it actually feels really smooth um, more like you're kind of driving a BMW over anything lesser so for that you can understand why Mini is so popular um, and this particular one comes with a six-speed gearbox as well so um, not only is it going to be ideal for you know being a town or city car just because of its size um, more donkeys come on mate this is what I've got to deal with um, so what was I saying? Yeah, it's so obviously the car's small, so you can um, nip in and out of small spaces in, in towns and cities. But because it's got a six-speed gearbox and because it's a 1.6 petrol, it's going to be capable out on the motorway too. So that's worth considering. Um, and yeah, it comes with um, the one-touch indicators as well. So um, if you're lazy like me and you like to literally just... touch indicator on and off it will do that I'm just gonna go down here in and amongst the rural roads now probably gonna come across more wildlife but yeah we're doing about 20 mile an hour at the moment uh, the minis cabin's a nice place to be really it's it's nice and compact um, and everything just feels proper it's hard to describe it but it just feels like a solid car which is um, which is nice considering it's only a small car really I think the new minis keep on getting slightly bigger or so they appear so because it's a 2012 it's it's probably slightly smaller than the uh, newer minis. The um, 
radio's all good. Uh, distant kind of uh, British royalty or something like that. And yeah, it's a bit bumpier here, but you don't really notice it to be honest. Interior is pretty clean. Um, the female owner who had it before uh, looked after it. She was literally upsizing, um, and I got to meet her myself because I went to go and view the car personally. So. Which is good, always nice to get a feel for the previous owner and how, they look, how they've looked after the car. Cool, hopefully you pick up a bit more speed. There's no donkeys around. that's it i hope this video has helped um if you'd like more information or you'd like to arrange a view then please feel free to give me alex a call or a message and i look forward to speaking to you soon